all right welcome um, we're gonna talk about flags uh, in this tutorial I'm creating my camera file all right so flags.kml now I'm able to change the extension to sensitive building I have my file extension checked clean in Windows if I turn it off I'll be able to change something but I don't need the extension so then I will double click to have it open and I'll populate it for QT clean I'm just going to go ahead and preview this. I have navigated into the folder which I have killed and seen installed. Should have killed the same mode to preview this in order for us to take the time. Exactly. Now it shows up with all the things, icons, uh, this and that and that. And then let's go on straight to the, uh, the first flag is a very familiar one. Uh, it's the frameless window here. Did I just do that? Of course, the most familiar one. Now it has some problems. It gives you your uh, frameless alright, but then it doesn't give you this icon, and uh, it's good for flash screen, but it's not good for your full application again if you want to build distance. So let's go on to the next one. How you close it? You can just hover over it, try to click on it, and do an alt F4 in Windows. I don't know what it is in Mac or Linux, but then you can also come here, your tax manager, and close it. I'm sure it's supposed to be available. And uh, this guy can see, close it, and we're all fine. But then, if you mix the flags with a QT window, you're gonna get a lot more interesting, and beautiful results. There we are, it's still frameless. But look down here, here we are with our touch bar button, which is more like it. You can add more things over here, customize things like all these guys can uh, these customized things because then. There's a way to do it, but then you have your free list, you can style it, style everything, style the movement, the resize, you know, style your own try to buy so that it fits your application nicely, like you can see people do it. Or tearful. But then you can the frame list is the highest one. If you add it to any other flags, you're just gonna keep it frame less. And that's really bad. Now there's another one that you can do to stay on top. This is the QT. Uh, I think it's window stay on top here. Yeah. Window stay on top, which keeps your your thing always on top. You can see that this guy is normally the one on top, but now uh, the thing is on top, and wherever we go, it's on top. Which is really really cool. If that's what you want to do. But then the other ones, I'm gonna take away the frameless one because it's very powerful, it's gonna override everything. That's one like real title, title hint, which shows only the title. There, there, no icon, no close bar. But then there's another one which allows you to customize in the highest. It allows you control it. You can see I'm adding it to the title because if I don't add it to the title, it won't show. Now, what I'm talking about is that the QT the window close button hit of course that means I want it. it's not going to show because then I have not enabled it to show me in a QT doll system menu hit I'm sorry I'm kind of now you can see we have a system menu hit and now the close button is showing and now icon is showing of course we don't call for icon but then it should there's nothing to do about it but then it's only the close up button that's showing all the two are not showing because then, in order for you to see a close button, you also have to get this guy enabled. And in some extreme cases, you might have to get the customize window here enabled before you can see all these things. Now, of course, in our case, we don't have to. But then, if you have this specified and you have this guy turn off, I'm going to turn it off by setting it to not. We're not going to see our things. It's sad. It's showing this ugly thing, but then we're not seeing our thing. That's crazy. You have to set the title before you can see your 
Mr. Boy in your main Windows main the main and the maximum button here. Before you can see both of them or all of them, I don't know why. Uh, maybe I have to take away a course but I don't know why they're not showing. I think that because they're not showing, like I said, in some extreme places you have to set a customized thing on. I think this is one of them. Uh, still not showing. Ooh, I don't know what I've done wrong. I had a showing. And this manual. Manual. But here. Yeah. There. It's not showing. Maybe I misspelled something. Now it showed without a close button because I don't have the close button anymore. I have I have it turned off. I'm gonna bring it back. I don't know what I did wrong. Well, What they are there, like, or of course, if that's what you really don't have to go all this way. But then, if there's no way to want it, you want to turn off certain things, you can go ahead and turn them off. That's really, really customizing your thing. But then, you have to make sure that you have the title on if you want these guys to show. If that's what you want to show, you want to show only the title. Then you can turn off all of this and your title will show, right? You can even turn off this guy, the window and your title is going to show. Cool. Yes, the logo, which one interests you most? Which one didn't you like? What more do you want me to talk about? Leave a comment below. And tell me what you think, or like it or not. You don't have to, you know, not force to do it in the grimace accent. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't like it. I really want to know if you don't like it, if you like it. And if there's something you want me to know, something you want me to talk about, an error make. So see you in the next tutorial. Bye.